Next game we're going to clean is Super Mario All-Stars. Again, this case is from RetroGameCases.com. If you want to check them out, it's RetroGameCases.com. <laughs> Here's the cartridge. It has a third-party, I forget what this stands for, Triple G uh, dust cover on it. Put those aside. Um, yeah, it's a little bit dirty here. All right, uh, dirty up at the top, but not super dirty. Let's open it up. Okay, open it up. There's the inside of the uh, front of the cartridge. Ooh, it's dirty up there. We'll clean that up. Oh, this is a bigger cartridge. Um, kind of makes sense, I guess, since there are three or four games on this. Three games, four games. Um, there's the battery. That needs to be taken out. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Big, big chips. 64K RAM. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And another Maxwell C, uh, CR2032 battery. That's what Nintendo used, I guess. And here's the back of the cartridge. Okay, so... Best to put flux down before you do this, too. But I forgot. <laughs> Okay, let's put some flux down to try to get the rest of this solder off. It's supposed to help with getting the solder off and soldering the new stuff. There we go. Much cleaner than last time. One side's out. Come on out. There we go. Came out. Very good. Old battery. Uh, according to the cartridge, this is Nintendo 1993. So that battery was 21 years old about. enough Old enough to draw... Uh, not 21, 31. Holy cow. Man. <laughs> 31 years old. Mm. Hmm. Doesn't get easier to hear that. <laughs> so let's put the new one on. Again, I got these batteries from Console 5 website. I think it's console5.com. And they come with the legs pre-soldered onto them. You can use the old ones, uh, the old legs, uh, but you have to be a little bit more careful about soldering and desoldering and all that stuff. Okay, so let's put it in. Okay. Is that good? Oh yeah, that'll work. Bend the tabs. Now we're gonna solder the tabs. Leave the soldering wick aside. A lot faster than the first time I did this. Is that enough? Probably. Let me get a little bit more in here. Okay. So, it should be good. Let's clean it up. Yeah, this board's pretty boring. It's bigger than the Super Mario World one, but it doesn't have any cool looking chips. This one's branded Nintendo, so that's a little cool, I guess. Nintendo. 1990 chip. 
And I think we're... Oh, I didn't clean the shell yet. So, PCB is done. Put that aside. Let's take the back of the shell and clean it up. Okay, yeah, the back of this I think is good, yeah. Now the front of the shell. Okay. I think it's good. Yep, that'll work, that will work. Okay, so we take the back of the shell The battery side goes towards the bottom. Goes in like that. Oh, like that. And then this hinges on the bottom part of the shell. That. And screw it back in. And then we'll test it. Okay, let's uh, give it a test. Okay, yeah, it booted up. Uh, maybe my cleaning my Super Nintendo last night actually did do some good. Because this took like three time, three tries before it worked. <sighs> last, uh, yesterday. Um, try to think. How, uh... I don't know, let's try this. I don't remember how you save in these. or at what point it saves. We'll see. Oh, save and continue, save and quit, okay. Well, let's uh, beat the first level here. Oh. That ladybug or whatever it does, does whatever it is, does hurt. Oh, I thought maybe just hitting him or hit being against him with the turn up or whatever that is would do it. Because it's been a while since I played this. Oh.
boss music. Okay, save and quit. Now let's uh, reset. Or let's just turn it off and uh, see if we still have a save when it comes back on. Yep, mm hmm. It's saved. So I didn't break it, it works. 